While this sounds like a bit of a cruel question, but it is a vitally important question to ask yourself if you are struggling with your weight and you would like to stop the obesity cycle. Also the question might seem obvious but it is more complex than first meets the eye. There are four obesity delivery methods. 1. Sugar-rich foods, which include wheat, rice and potatoes. 1. All of these foods quickly convert to glucose in your bloodstream and then in triglycerides, also known as fats. 2. Junk foods which are heavy in the omega-6 industrial oils which play havoc with your arteries and are also stored as fat, and are made worse by usually being consumed with sugar. 2. I.E. 2. Pizza and Cola. 3. Insufficient movement. While exercise is a poor way to lose weight it is important for the proper functioning of your whole body, especially your cardiovascular system, your immune system, your hormones and your emotional state. 4. If you have problems with your hormones obesity can be a consequence. 4. An underactive thyroid is the most well-known, wrong levels or testosterone, estrogen and progesterone will cause weight gain, plus the stress hormone cortisol can cause food cravings and melatonin the sleep hormone if not being produced properly will result in lack of sleep and weight gain. 5. Your mind. 5. While it's not possible to consume calories through your brain, this is where all your decisions are made and all your emotions are experienced. The solution is never easy or simple despite the ads claiming miracle weight loss supplements or gadgets. Best avoided at all costs. You need the right information and the right advice. There is no one size fits all in weight management. Even you at 30 or 40 years old will be treated differently. From the four methods above you can get started on number one and number two which are basic diet changes. It will need to be fine tuned for your needs but is a great place to start. Movement is easy as well. You don't need to run a marathon or even go to a gym, and personally I would rather drink a liver smoothie than go to the gym, go if you enjoy it, but don't suffer and then feel bad for not going. Movement is more about finding ways during your day to be more active, walking upstairs, walking a little further to the shops, moving more at home. For example I challenged a lady who was planning a holiday but was concerned about her energy for walking to a simple walking program. Day 1, spend 5 minutes walking a loop up and down her hallway and through her lounge room then add only 30 seconds each day. After one month she was walking 20 minutes per day and by the end on month 2 when she went on her holiday she was doing 30 minutes a day easily. She enjoyed her holiday and she lost 5 kilograms because she got fired up and stopped snacking between meals. I wonder what you could do? See a doctor who is prepared to test your hormones and correct them if necessary with bioidentical hormones. If you have benefited from this video, immediately hit the subscribe button and bell notification now for your next inspiring video. If you would like to lose weight, click the link in the description below to learn more.